this other beautiful lady, everybody in San Antonio knows exactly who she is. She is a woman that has been the voice for so many years through social media. She is also the most amazing woman that I know in the fitness world. She's passionate about what she does and where she's going in changing people's lives and every step of the way. Her name is Sarah Lucero. How are you, Sarah? Thank you, Lorena, for that very sweet, sweet introduction. Um, wow, I'm, I'm flattered and very humbled and very honored and just really thrilled to be here to talk to you. Thank you for inviting me uh, to talk about fitness and health and how, you know, what we've done and the things that we've done in our lives have encouraged and motivated others to stay healthy and get healthy. I think that's been one of my biggest uh, goals is to, you know, be stronger. Um, you know, as we get older, there's different ways that we have to, you know, work on our bodies and do things differently, eat differently. And that's something that I've learned, you know, being a newscaster for 26 years, fitness was always a big part of it because being on, at the top of my game as a television journalist um, was hard to do. But if you're healthy and you're strong and you feel good from the inside out, you have that much more energy to be, you know, on the air sometimes for 12 hours straight you know, and covering and your mind is right. Your mind has to be clear. You know, what you say has to be clear and you have to be able to think and present it well. And, and people want you to look a certain way too. So fitness is, there's so many benefits to it that I found throughout my years, you know, outside of the fitness and health industry as a journalist. And then um, the natural transition for me because I loved running and I loved doing all of that was to go into fitness. And so that was the natural next step for me. Sarah, so I know that now you are doing something amazing. So now you're getting into biking. I believe that you're going to enter in a marathon. I want you to tell me about that. Well, what I not, you know, as I was saying, the natural transition was to get into health and fitness, and I wanted to explore so many parts of it because it was so exciting to me what nutrition can do for your body, what, what weightlifting can do for your body. But I'm actually an endurance person at heart. I love endurance, and I love marathons, as you mentioned. Um, my biggest dream was to do an Ironman. So I just did my Ironman last November, and now my next goal, I'm gonna put it out there, is I really want to qualify for Kona. That's, that's the Ironman championships for the entire world. To qualify. That's it's like It's like the Boston Marathon, but it's Ironman. That's so. big, Sarah, that's big. Mm -hmm. No, that's why I love about Sarah Lucero. Sarah Lucero is another powerful woman that has an amazing balance in her life. She is a wife, she is a mother of four beautiful kids, and she's a business entrepreneur. She stays fit, and she still enters all these marathons because I see her out running around like a little Mexican jumping bee <laughs> everywhere being athletic and that's why I most love about Sarah Lucero. So Sarah, I know that you were in the San Antonio Monthly uh, magazine for the month of June speaking about fitness. How are you going to move forward for the end of this year of 2020 with everything that is going on? Everybody right now is in a little bit of a shock, and of course, that is to be expected. And for what you can see, all these beautiful women that I had the honor of interviewing today, they have all turned it into a good thing. Why? Because they have made themselves a better person through the fitness world. And you know what? It is all about being healthy, Sarah. How are you going to end the year of 2020? Well, I think this has been a really trying year for so many of us, I mean, for the entire world. So we are facing things that we would have never imagined would have been part of our lives. So going forward, I think we all have to, no matter what area, what field you work in, you have to not let the things that have happened in 2020 bring you down or hold you back. You've got to find the new opportunities, find the new, uh, you know, just adventures that are out there. There are opportunities, but we have to modify what we do. We have to change a little bit about what we do, our outlook, our approach, just try new things. So going into 2021, it's about staying positive and it's about trying something new because you're going to have to change something about what you're doing in your life to live in this new world post-COVID. Post-COVID, that's right. Mm -hmm. That's why 
you need to stay tuned with the spotlight with Sara Lucero because she is going to be visiting, interviewing, and bringing some very powerful people of how they're moving forward for 21. Thank you, Sara Lucero, and I cordially invite everyone to read the San Antonio Monthly Magazine of the month of June because she is inside the magazine with an amazing message. I also want to invite everyone out there that has a story to tell. Don't hesitate to contact San Antonio Monthly Magazine so you can be in our San Antonio Monthly TV. Thank you. I am Lorena Monroe.